So my name is Florian Dietrich. I'm responsible for the driving, driving dynamics of this car. And I was working on it from the very beginning. So we had the uh, aim to make a real driver's car out of the Z4. And therefore we made a lot of changes and improvements. Uh, and I think you could already see what the result was. Mainly on the whole vehicle uh, department, it was important to have a low center of gravity, for example. This helps with the fabric roof. And from driving dynamic sides, we took care to have a very stiff body structure, to have a very stiff chassis. And we completely renewed the front axle with an aluminum front axle carrier, which is very stiff and light. And uh, we have very potential tires um, on a wide stance and uh, compared to a quite short wheelbase. And this makes the car very agile and uh, very precise in cornering. Suspension-wise, there are different options. On the four-cylinder cars, the M40i that you drove here uh, has all um, cars equipped with the adaptive suspension. Um, so it's fully adaptive on every uh, of the four wheels. We have every 20 milliseconds the possibility to calculate damping forces depending on driving speed, cornering behavior, uh, the, the modes that you're driving in. And so this makes the, the drive very compliant and supple, but still uh, precise in cornering. For an open car, it's very important to have a very good body stiffness. So that means you need additional um, struts in the, in the lower part of the car. Um, first of all, it's a comfort issue because otherwise you have a lot of shudder in the car. And, but for us, from driving dynamic side, this is the basic enabler to have a good steering behavior and linear behavior over steering and a precise turning in. And uh, so this is one of the most important parts from driving dynamic side. From steering side, of course, this is electronically controlled and electronically assisted steering. Um, it is a specific steering rack for that car with another ratio and uh, the factor of feedback, of uh, steering feedback was very important for a driver's car. So, um, but this is not only something that happens in the steering, this is something that mainly happens in the kinematics of the axles, in the tires. And so we took care to uh, do a lot of uh, effort in the axle kinematics to make the car uh, steer well and give good feedback. And I think uh, the result is quite good. So you really have the feedback of different tarmac uh, frictions. You have the feedback of how far from the limit you are. But on the other side, we tried to not make the steering feel too heavy because uh, in a car like this, uh, you have to be careful not to feel, make the car feel heavy. So. The main goal is to have a very sensitive steering with good feedback, but then a good force ramp up over lateral acceleration. Another point to mention uh, maybe is the LSD, the limited slip differential that we are having in 100% on the M40i. And this allows us to uh, make the car turn in very uh, sharp and very precise that you can also have different uh, car behavior on uh, driving dynamic modes. And this is done by a mechanically um, limited slip differential, but it is electronically controlled. That means uh, you can add or take away locking momentum depending on driver's behavior, on road surface and on the mode that you're using. As I mentioned at the beginning, it should be really a driver's car and it is, so it's a car that you want to take out on, on a curvy road, on a mountain road, maybe also on the track and just have fun. And you, normally you don't want to stop until the gasoline is done.